Now we will focus on developing the application, starting with its design, which will be a significant part of this section, and then looking at behavior. All for applications that only work online. Offline applications will be studied at the end of the course. However, most of what we'll see applies to both types. Some topics will be related to both design and behavior. Now, more than ever, the focus will be placed on the user, on his or her experience, UX, which is why UI, user interface aspects, have become so relevant. Except for certain characteristics that will be mentioned later, these explanations will be applicable to all interface objects. That is to say, they will be valid for work with for smart devices, and for panels for smart devices, as well as for component type objects. Let's start with the design aspects, which are so important. Within this topic, first, let's talk about the importance of theme objects, class management, and use of images. Together with this, we will talk about the features provided by the new tool incorporated into Genexus 15. This tool, known as Live Editing, allows viewing the changes instantly at design time, with no need to even save the objects, much less specify, generate, and compile them. We will just make changes and generate them. Next, we will focus on the characteristics of controls and layouts compared to the known use, especially in relation to the following aspects. We will then also talk about the possibility of having various layouts for the same object depending on the platform used, as well as on the screen size, orientation, and so on. Next, we will see the navigation styles available between the main menu and the screens and how to configure the desired style. We will also see how to incorporate different transition effects between the various screens invoked when a screen is opened and closed. Just like web applications have web components, smart device applications have SD components, which are highly reusable, just like on the web, in combination with global events. Lastly, we will talk about adding popular graphic effects to SD applications that react, for example, to the device movement. We saw one example of this when the speaker's images shifted according to the iPad's movement. 